Hi, this is Frank and Rebecca, and we'd like to talk um, to you. Uh, that's Rebecca and Frank. What's Rebecca and Frank? The introduction, how we're introduced. Rebecca and Frank. No, no, I, I think it's Frank and Rebecca. My name always goes first. You know that. I do. Sure you do. Well, we can discuss that later. Uh, so anyway, this is Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. And we would like to take some time to introduce ourselves to you. We have been providing voices for the Nick Guy Private Eye series for a good many years now. We voice most of the main and recurring characters, as well as many of the minor ones. As the series has progressed, we've had the opportunity to develop our characters, their personalities, their quirks, their strengths, their weaknesses. And of course, a big part of their personalities is revealed in their voices. Now, because we provide voices for the bulk of our main characters, we find that we are playing multiple characters in the same scene. So the voices we provide them with must be distinct from one another. Otherwise, the listener would not be able to distinguish who's talking. For instance, Frank provides the voices for both Nick Guy and Dr. DeSoto. They appear in a great many scenes together. Uh, for Nick Guy, I do my impersonation of Cary Grant. While for Dr. DeSoto, I use a more softer, more subdued voice. And Rebecca gives voice to both Trixie Prattle and Miss Timid, our two lead female characters. And Trixie has a strong accent to her voice, and she likes to laugh. <laughs> well, Miss Timid, a lot like Dr. DeSoto, is more subtle and demure. And these distinctions are not just in the tone and texture of their voices. The very words each character uses is important in establishing their individuality. Nick Guy is more inclined to use phrases like, You'll spend some time in the slammer for this crime, Professor Dastardly, while Dr. DeSoto would say it more like, oh, This action will no doubt result in prison time for you, Professor Dastardly. Trixie Prattle might say, Oh, Nicky, I just love this present you gave me on account of it's so classy. While Miss Timid would say it like this. Oh, Dr. DeSoto, what, what a thoughtful gift. I simply love it. And now the purpose for this demo is to let you know that, apart from our work on Nick Guy Private Eye, that we are available to provide voices for characters in your productions as well. And although Nick Guy is a comedy adventure series, we're also capable of performing in straight dramatic roles as well. We are not only capable of speaking in a wide variety of voices. We can also speak with various accents and dialects. And what follows is a skit that highlights some of the wide range of voices we routinely perform. All of the voices you're about to hear are provided by both Frank and myself. We are available to work together as a team. Or independently from one another. It all depends upon what your particular needs are. You can find out more about us on our website, www.nickguy.net. That's nickguy.net. Or you can write to us at P.O. Box 781, Painesville, Ohio, 44077. That's P.O. Box 781, Painesville, Ohio, 44077. Or email us at frankuley, F-R-A-N-K-U-L-L-E, at frankuley.com. We look forward to hearing from you. And this is Frank and Rebecca saying thanks for your time and effort. You mean this is Rebecca and Frank saying thanks for your time and effort. Uh, n no, no, it's Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. No, it's Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. Well, while we're sorting this out, why don't you listen to our demo? Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. Frank and Rebecca. <sighs> Rebecca and Frank. Frank and Rebecca. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. DeSoto. For some time now, it has been my privilege to be the companion of and assistant to Nick Guy, Private Eye. I have undertaken the task of chronicling some of his more interesting and important cases, and the one I'm about to relate certainly fills both requirements. We had been working on a most difficult and confusing affair, but having studied all of the evidence and all of the clues, and having reviewed all of the witness statements, Nick Guy felt quite certain that he had solved the case. So we asked our favorite informant, Loose Lips Louie, to call together all of the suspects to our office. Well, I've been busy all morning rounding everybody up, Nick Guy. I, I think they're all here. Oh, thanks, Louie. Uh, could you run down the list, DeSoto? Uh, of course, Guy. Uh, first of all, Trixie Prattle is here. Hi, Nick. 
Vicky. Say, what's this all about anyway? I was just on my way to buy a new pair of low heel kitten toed rhinestone encrusted shoes. They were on sale down at the Gerrish Brothers Fashion Emporium. Well, thank you for your sacrifice, Miss Prettle. Oh, Nicky, you say the sweetest things. Ha <laughs> ha. And Henry and Blanche Milk Toast are here as well. well. I'm very happy to be here, Nick Guy. Henry? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not very happy to be here. Henry, did you remember to bring my orthopedic slippers? Oh, I know, my tender buttercup. I didn't think you would need them. Henry, you should never think. You're just no good at it. Of course, dear. Well, who else is here, DeSoto? Uh, Russell Moth Eaton is here. And I am none too happy for this intrusion of my schedule, Nick Guy. I expect that you have a good reason behind it, although this is an assumption I do not feel safe in making. And of course, Miss Timid is here as well. Oh, hello, Nick Guy. Anything I can do to be of assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Oh, we'd like to thank you for coming, Miss Timid. Oh, of course, Dr. DeSoto. I think nothing of it. I see that Johnny the Newsboy is here. Hey, hey, Nick Guy, uh, this is uh, pretty exciting, you know? Well, I just hope your being here isn't going to hurt your newspaper sales too much. Oh, don't worry about that. Not too many people are buying newspapers these days. Uh, that's why I'm also known as Johnny the Shoe Shine Boy. Well, I wouldn't think too many people are getting their shoes shined these days either. Oh, well, they're not. That's why I'm also known as Johnny the IT Boy. Oh, and Guy, Mrs. Dondery agreed to come as well. Oh, think nothing of it, Dr. DeSoto. This is rather exciting, actually. Just imagine me being a suspect in a crime. That's really quite exhilarating. It's been ten years since the last time I was suspected of a crime. Say, who's the attractive woman? Mr. Peavy, it's good to see that you could make it. Thank you for coming. Uh, never mind that. Tell me about this gorgeous woman here. Oh, you mean Mrs. Doddery? Yes, and tell me quickly. At my age, I don't have as much time as I used to. Oh, I'm very flattered by your attention, sir, but I must warn you, I have very little patience with ninnies, so please don't act like a ninny. And also here are Bonnie McNabb and her boyfriend, Eddie Durbin. I really hope this doesn't take too long. Eddie's taking me to the roller derby tonight down at the Hamster Flats Armory. Isn't that right, Eddie? Yeah, what's that? The what? The roller derby, Eddie. The roller derby. You promised to take me to the roller derby. The Harbor City Chicks against the Senior Citizen Center Cougars. Uh, did I promise you that? Uh, well, sure, we can go. Oh, but look at that. I left my wallet at home. I'm afraid you're going to have to foot the bill there, Dal. Oh, and look, Nick Guy, I was able to get Dr. Isabel Ringing to come too. The call sounded so urgent, I hastened my arrival. And I see Gizmo Penpalmer is here as well. Oh, but that's pretty uh, right, Nick Guy. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but I wouldn't have missed it for the uh, but, uh, but, uh, world. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but of course, no one was but, uh, offering me the but, uh, world. Uh, so, but, uh, but, well, but, uh, but, here I am. I'm here too, Nick Guy. Beanie Olsen, thank you for coming. I was told there was going to be ice cream afterwards. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I... Oh, wait, no. That's what Mrs. Rude said we would get after our field trip to the Boot and Shoe Museum. And Sherry Sapling is here as well. Oh, isn't she the spokeswoman for those tree sap extractors? That's right. It's me. Sherry Sapling, your snappy and happy sap girl here for the Blickford Corporation, makers of quality tree sap extractors for well over three years now. Would you like to hear more about our new Sap Master 2000? Uh, well, uh, not right now. It, it's time we got started. Let's lay out the facts in the case, DeSoto. Uh, of course, Guy. Last evening, a break-in took place at the Hammondex Museum of Really Old Stuff and the thief has run off with a valuable Bob Hope Diamond. The Bob Hope Diamond? Bob Hope Diamond? The 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 Bob Hope Diamond? 
just the classiest diamond in the whole world, Nikki! That's right, and it's valued at over a quarter of a million dollars! A quarter of a million dollars? 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 Of a million dollars? A quarter 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 of a million dollars? Henry? Oh, is it my turn? A, a quarter of a million dollars? And the thief is right here, in this room. Oh, but Nikki, it couldn't be me. I was with you last night at the Bistro Exorbitant, remember? You took me there for my birthday. Oh, that was just the sweetest thing. Uh, but, Miss Prattle, I took you there because you asked me to take you there. Well, it was still just the sweetest thing. You know, you're listening to me and all. So, you see, I couldn't have stolen that diamond. Well, actually, every one of you has an alibi, and every one of those alibis checks out. So, who's the thief, Nick guy? Yeah, Nicky. Who stole the Bob Hope diamond? Well, let's check out the list. Well, it leaves, uh, uh, no one. No one? No one. 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 I don't understand, Nikki. How could no one steal the Bob Hope diamond? That's just not logical. But you said the thief was in this room. Well, no one of you stole the Bob Hope diamond, but someone else, right here in this room, did. But who would that be? It's none other than... <laughs> Felina Farrell. Felina Farrell? Felina Farrell! Felina Farrell! Oh, we don't all have to say it. Yes, Felina Farrell. So clever, Nick Guy. I think that's why I like playing these little games of cat and mouse with you. You can always figure things out. I knew that once you heard I was gathering everyone here tonight to reveal who stole the Bob Hope diamond, that you wouldn't be able to resist coming here and gloating about it. Oh, but what fun is there to committing the crime of the century and not being able to gloat about it? Well, your pride has been your undoing, Felina Farrell. Like I said, Nick Guy, I like playing these little games of cat and mouse with you because you can always figure them out. But what I like most about them is that, while you can always figure things out, you can never catch me. <laughs> well, I don't have to catch you, Felina Farrell, because as you can see, I've got the Bob Hope Diamond right here, in my hand. What? What are you talking about? That's, that's impossible. How could you have it? I have it because you never stole it. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I stole it. I broke into the Hammond X Museum of really old stuff. I disabled the alarm system. I cut through the glass enclosure that the diamond was in. I took it, put it in my pocket, and left just as I came in. It was a masterful crime, executed to perfection by me, the Queen of Thieves. Well, it was a masterful crime, and it was executed to perfection, and you are the Queen of Thieves. But unfortunately for you, the diamond you stole wasn't the real Bob Hope diamond. It was a fake. A fake? A fake? You mean that diamond I have in my pocket is a fake? I anticipated your crime and took steps to prevent it from happening. And now, Police Officer O'Hara is here to take you away. And you'll be coming along with me, young lady. We've got a nice prison cell waiting for the likes of you. I don't believe it, Guy. Officer O'Hara is taking her away. Felina Farrell is going without even a fight. That's right. That is odd. Now, don't get me wrong, Nikki. You know I think you're the best private eye boyfriend a girl ever had, but Felina Farrell always gets away from you. Why is she going away so quietly this time? Well, that's because in the past she's anticipated every move I'm about to make. Well, this time I anticipated every move she was about to make. And in doing that, she didn't anticipate the very first move I made. And that was to replace the real Bob Hope Diamond 
with a phony one. That's right, and that wraps up this case. Oh, that's brilliant, Nicky. Uh, yes, quite brilliant, Guy. Excellent work, Nick Guy. Well done. Grudgingly, even I must commend you. Pretty clever, pretty clever. I guess it was. All right, Eddie, let's get to the roller derby to see some real action. Well, Henry, what do you have to say? Uh, well, I, I think I should say job well done. Oh, you made a real ninny out of her, Nick Guy. That was a real knee slapper. I stand in awe of your skill, Mr. Guy. Whoa, Nick Guy, whoa! I think wow says it for all of us. You performed almost as well as the Sapmaster 2000. Well, but as they say in show business, that's all, folks. Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. Frank and Rebecca. Oh, look. The skit's over. Oh, 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 yeah. We hope you enjoyed this demo. And that you will keep us in mind when you cast your next audio production. You can find out more about us on our website, www.nickguy.net. That's nickguy.net. Or you can write to us at P.O. Box 781, Painesville, Ohio, 44077. That's P.O. Box 781, Painesville, Ohio, 44077. Or email us at at com. F-R-A-N-K-U-L-L-E. This is Rebecca and Frank saying thanks for your time. <laughs> no, you mean this is Frank and Rebecca saying thank you for your time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said it correctly. Rebecca... And Frank. I'm pretty sure we agreed on Frank and Rebecca. <sighs> Rebecca and Frank. Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. Frank and Rebecca. Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. Frank and Rebecca. Rebecca and Frank. Okay, have it your way. Right, Rebecca and Frank. Hey, wait, wait a second.